The congressional investigations into Russia appear to be going nowhere fast. The New York Times acknowledged this yesterday in an above-the-fold story. Let me read a little bit of that. Nine months into the Trump administration, any notion that Capitol Hill would provide a comprehensive, authoritative, and bipartisan accounting of the extraordinary efforts of a hostile power to disrupt American democracy appears to be dwindling. Now, I'm not exactly shocked at this. It has been something like nine months. It is uh, increasingly apparent that these committees have not come up with much. Now, I want to add, I don't know exactly what evidence the committees have. I don't know what evidence that Robert Mueller has. Uh, his prosecutors, obviously, are taking a, a tough look at uh, people like Paul Manafort and Mike Flynn, the former National Security Advisor, and it's impossible to know what's inside of a criminal investigation except when the leaks occur. But as the Times goes into this, it's fascinating because a lot of the problems plaguing these three committees on the Hill uh, are pretty common when it comes to congressional investigations. For example, partisan politics, uh, the two sides not agreeing on just about anything. I mean, there have been investigations in the past. This actually even goes back to the Senate Watergate Committee, uh, the Benghazi investigation and others, where sometimes... Uh, the Republicans and the Democrats end up putting out different reports because they simply can't agree. So you have that as a problem. You have insufficient resources. You have a failure to agree on the scope of the investigation. But it's fascinating because the one thing that this particular story in the New York Times does not even contemplate, does not even raise as a possible theory, is that there's not much there there. That may be the reason that the Senate and House Intel Committees and the other committee uh, haven't made more progress is that despite months of investigation, uh, there really isn't much evidence of collusion between Trump campaign aides and associates in Moscow. Now, I can't prove that, um, but you can certainly rest assured that if they had come up with more things, some of this would have leaked because it's Capitol Hill. I mean, these, this is a place that leaks all the time. Uh, now, again, you know, there may be um, questions about improper lobbying and taking money from foreign countries without uh, disclosing it. But on this core issue, and there may even be instruction of justice questions, but on this core issue, was there collusion? I mean, the only instance we even know about was that meeting with the Russian lawyer set up by Donald Trump Jr. that ended up not going anywhere. So the collusion, you know, what some pri administration officials have said privately, privately is, after all the investigations are done, if they don't come up with anything to prove that there was any collusion, what will the media say then? Well, how will the media explain the months and months and months of saturation coverage? Well, we will have to see if indeed that is the case. But it's again interesting to me that that wasn't even a paragraph in the New York Times story, which you know raised certain legitimate questions about the partisan nature of these investigations. There's an opening anecdote about Jared Kushner testifying before. Uh, uh, one of the committees, and, and he offered to stay beyond the allotted time because there were still questions. And Trey Gowdy, the Republican Congressman, said, well, you're in a no-win situation. If you leave now, the Democrats will say you refuse to answer questions. If you stay, the questions could go on all week. So I think that when the time comes, there needs to be an accounting. If this doesn't lead to serious charges having to do with collusion, again, you know, various uh, Trump surrogates or former associates, you know, may have legal problems of their own. But if this turns out to be something of a nothing burger, uh, certainly the uh, politicians who have pursued this will have to explain why that is. But the media that have relentlessly pursued this story, and it's a legitimate story, there was the President of the United States, his, at least his people, are under investigation. But if it turns out to be nothing, I'll look forward to what the media have to say about whether or not, perhaps, just maybe, possibly, allegedly, um, they were so fixated on the notion that there was some wrongdoing there that they perhaps blew it just a little bit out of proportion.